we give thanks to our God. When we take a look at all of God's beauty and all of the glory that God has done for us, even in his life. Remember Paul saying one time in Romans chapter 1, For the invisible things of him, of the creation of this world, are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, that they are without excuse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful but became vain in their own imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. God gave them up. I want to say that I thank God for all of his wonderful blessings. I think about my marriage. I think about my life. I think about Roseanne and our life together. God has given me a queen. She is my wife. For now, these 33 years, nearly 34 come November the 29th, if it be the Lord's will. And I want to just give thanks because Proverbs 18, 22, when a man find for himself a wife, he find for himself a good thing. And he obtained favor in the eyes of God. And I want to say that God has blessed me. He has blessed me because Rose has been my gloom. She has been my rock. She is what keeps me together and I am the person I am now all because of her. And I want to say, baby, I love you, mommy. I thank God for you. And may we continue to live in a blessed life together in marriage as God intended. Lord, keep us in your will. Keep us in your way. In Jesus' name, we give thanks for it all. Amen.